because a lot of times we see what other people are doing or what they have or what they've acquired and we start to mess up our own path to try and veer into a lane that does not concern us. Welcome back to my channel guys. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about six figure jaw walkers. I really wanted to make this video on a serious note because I've been on TikTok a lot and YouTube and Instagram and so many people in tech and biotech and just different career fields are talking about their six figure job offers. And I do feel it's a bit misleading and it's allowing other people to believe that like, yeah, if I leave my job today, I'm gonna be making $250,000 a year. No, that's not how these job offers work. There's a lot that goes into it. And I know firsthand after working at so many different places that a lot of the times, if you don't stay the entire period that's specified in your job offer, you don't get all of that money. So let's let's get into this video and break down these job offers. So we're seeing people say, I'm making $280,000 a year, but that's not true. They're not making $280,000 a year. So I'm gonna give you an example of how um, an, a, a total compensation package looks. Let's say someone is offered $150,000 base. That's amazing. That's still really great money. In San Francisco, not so great. In LA, still really good. In other parts of the world, amazing. Then in the job offer, a lot of times what they'll offer is a bonus. You get this bonus three months after a new year starts. So let's say I worked for a company the entire year of 2021. That means by the time Q1 closes, we have January, we have February, March. Normally bonuses come around March. So if I worked for the whole 2021, that means in, by March 2022, whatever percentage I was offered in my job offer, I'm going to get that bonus. So again, you got to work for the whole year. Um, some companies might give it to you. I've seen people on TikTok say like, oh, I only worked for two months and I got my bonus. It's really not like that for everybody. So let's say that you're offered a 20% bonus. 20% of 150 is $30,000. That's amazing. $30,000, you get that extra little lump sum in March. However, you're not getting the whole $30,000. You guys know there's a lot of taxes, especially if you live in California, you're going to get that California tax. You're going to get that federal tax. And because it's additional income, it's taxed a little bit higher than your normal, normal salary range. So someone who might get like a $30,000 bonus cash coming back to you, it can only be anywhere from, I don't know, it could be like 15,000, 20,000. There's a large chunk of it that goes to taxes and, and um, other things. So that's just something to keep in mind as well. And then the next thing that makes up the bulk of these offers are the shares, the equity that a company gives you. I've seen people get $100,000, $200,000. CEOs of big companies like Tesla, Amazon, Google, they get a large amount of equity. And that's where a lot of the their compensation comes from. So in this 280,000 per year package that I'm describing to you, $100,000 of that job offer is shares. The way shares work, completely different from how a bonus works. You're not gonna get all your shares because you work for a year and then three months come around and you get all that money or get all the, that equity, no. Every company is different. Some companies may invest the money in a, a different way. And when you get job offers and you start hearing people talk about it, you'll hear the word vesting a lot. When your equity vests. So $100,000 in shares, let's split it up among four years. They may give you $25,000 worth of shares after you complete one year of work. Then they may give you the other 25 after year two. Then the next after year three, and then the final $25,000 after year four. So if you don't stay for that whole four years, you're not gonna get that $100,000. So you are not making $280,000 a year. You just weren't. But also some companies are tricky with that bonus now that I think about it. If you leave after you complete one full year and you don't stay until March when the bonuses pay out, you might not get your bonus. That depends on the company, every company is different. I, again, have worked in multiple places and because I didn't stay at certain places, I didn't get all my, I didn't get any of my equity because I left too soon. Or I didn't get my bonus because I joined the company after the bonus cutoff period. So you, you need to put all that into perspective when you're thinking about negotiating these job offers. And sometimes you can make changes. You can say, hey, in your mind, if you're thinking strategically and if the company allows, if you're thinking strategically and you're like, look, 
I know I don't want to be at this company for any more than a year. I only want to stay for a year or I only want to stay for two years. What you can do is say, okay, well, I want a higher salary, but I don't want equity or I want like half of the equity because you know you're only going to stay for two years anyway. Um, some companies may allow for you to negotiate that. A lot of people don't know that. Put that into play when you're negotiating these salaries and these job offers and these, these packages so you can maximize what you can get based on what you know you're already about to do. Now, as I'm making career decisions, I'm choosing to stay at organizations longer so I can get that equity and companies know that they like to give equity because it entices you to keep working it entices you to stay longer nobody wants to have high turnover rates nobody wants to have poor retention so that's why a lot of these companies have built in equity structure I hope this video was helpful I really just wanted to highlight how these job offers work and these opportunities work don't look at what other people are doing don't look at the other job offers people are getting because someone may tell you yeah I was making a hundred fifty thousand dollars but they only stayed at the company for six months and the rest of the year they were struggling to find another job so technically they only made seventy five thousand dollars that year you don't know what's going on in another person's world their career path their plans you just don't know so i always say stay in your career lane with blinders on because a lot of times we see what other people are doing or what they have or what they've acquired and we start to mess up our own path to try and veer into a lane that does not concern us Let's not do that. Let's not let social media and all these people on TikTok and even on YouTube deter us from what we are supposed to be focused on. I'm really happy I made this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you leave comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Until next time, guys. Thank you.